I'm reporting live from Lake Tahoe, California. It is so beautiful here. We're here with my family for a little family vacation slash reunion. We're all staying in an Airbnb together. It's this cute kind of cabiny house. And we're just going to spend time in nature, spend time playing games and just catching up. I have family and cousins who live in California, so we don't get to see them much. So this time is super treasured. And the first thing on the agenda today is we are going to explore the Emerald Bay area, which just has really beautiful scenery of the lake and hikes. So that's the first thing on the agenda. But we landed yesterday. We flew into Denver. That was our connection. And then we landed in reno which is about an hour drive from lake tahoe and we're staying in south lake tahoe so that's where we are Brandon and i actually came here with his family a few years ago right after we got engaged so we've been able to explore this area a little bit before but this time we're gonna kind of explore some other new spots so excited to spend some time with my family and take you guys along for the adventures When we first arrived the day prior, we rented a car in Reno, Nevada, where we landed, and then we went to the grocery store just so that we could stock up on food and snacks and other goodies that we could just keep in the cabin. And then we just caught up with our family and went for a little family walk, which was nice. And then the next morning, we just made breakfast at the cabin, and then we made our way over to Emerald Bay. Lake Tahoe is actually partly in Nevada and partly in California, so so as you're kind of exploring and traveling to different parts around the lake, you'll probably cross the state lines a few different times. And Emerald Bay is specifically on the California side and it's this beautiful state park with beaches, hikes, waterfalls, and many different little nooks and crannies to explore. arrived at Emerald Bay we just kind of hung out at the overlook for a bit which there are multiple places you can park so there's a couple parking lots but then you can also just park alongside the road they have a few different pull-offs that you can safely park at so that's what we did and then we just hiked to the beach at the bottom and just stopped at different looking points along the way to take pictures and just soak up the view and at the bottom it's really neat because there's this place called Vikings Home which can be reached by walking a one mile trail from the parking lot on highway 89 or you could even visit it by boat if you rent a boat or you have one and Vikings Home is this little Scandinavian castle right on the beach Beach in Emerald Bay and it's actually considered one of the finest examples of Scandinavian architecture outside of the Nordic countries so it has a lot of history and just it's really neat to look at they also offer tours during the summer so if you're interested in learning more you could go on a tour we didn't go on a tour but it was really nice to just admire it from the outside <music> left Emerald Bay we just drove around for a little bit spotted this cute little free roadside library on our way to get some homemade chai and acai from this place called Freebird definitely recommend it is so delicious I saw that they have another location as well and we passed a couple different locations throughout our trip so definitely check them out the chai was so scrumptious and so was the acai and then once we got back to the cabin we just made a little homemade lentil veggie soup and enjoyed that with the family this morning was so lovely emerald bay is gorgeous absolutely breathtaking and we hiked down to the bottom of the lake and hung out there for a bit and then brandon's staring at me through the window but we also made a little cozy soup my grandma and i we made this veggie soup and it was really yummy and had some salad and now we're just kind of hanging out for the rest of the day we're gonna lay low kind of making a game plan for our rest 
for the rest of the time but i'm gonna start this new book people we meet on vacation so just gonna soak up the fresh air and the sunshine and kind of relax which we often don't do on vacation a lot of time we're just go 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 but this time we're gonna take some time to just be still and zen thank you sir thank you for letting me in <laughs> relaxation time in. Brandon's over there doing some coding. And even on vacation, we don't miss iced coffee time. We picked this up from Whole Foods yesterday and it's very tasty. For a bit we went for a little hike around the neighborhood and then we got some takeout from this greek restaurant called artemis and it was super delicious it's always like this i know it i can only be so Greek restaurant we got takeout and it was so delicious Boo! I wanted to do that <laughs> that was his creative vision so we loved our meal and now we're gonna have some desserts we might bake some cookies too but quinoa yeah we found this at Whole Foods how funny is this it's a quinoa crunch chocolate bar so funny it's okay let's see this bar of chocolate is part of our mission to go beyond organic Wow, look at that. You gonna help me open it? Oof, kinda tricky. Oh, it's wow, it looks like a Hershey's Crunch. Oh yeah, it does look or like a, a Crunch Nestle bar. Crunch, something Nestle like Crunch. That. Okay, let's show them. It looks good. And the texture. It, it really looks just like a Crunch bar. Look at that. Oh, I feel like it could d totally taste like it too. Okay, let's go for it. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love that. That's really good. It's like a healthier version of a crunch bar. I would so buy that again. Do you like it? Yeah. It really <laughs> Super is. Super good. Like the texture is the same as a crunch bar but the chocolate is way better because <laughs> mm -hmm. we love dark chocolate so yay good find let's go <laughs> Secret Cove Beach, which Brandon and I went to a few years ago, and this beach is special because clothing is optional. So it'll be an adventure, but we want to, we brought grandma, she's ready. She said she's gonna wear her sunglasses so that people can't see if she's looking. So it's gonna be quite the adventure, but we love this beach because it's so crystal clear and beautiful and just incredibly picturesque.
graceful. Yes, there were people who were burying it all at the beach, so just keep that in mind if you are traveling with some younger children. Secret Cove Beach was such a success. It was absolutely breathtaking. And I actually ended up going in the water, dunking my hair in and everything, and it felt so invigorating. The water is quite chilly, but it really wasn't as, as chilly as I was anticipating. So if you come in July or August, definitely recommend taking a dip in the lake because it's very, very refreshing. <laughs> Chimney Beach is located really close to Secret Cove Beach and both are on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. I think both of them are worth visiting, but I will say Chimney Beach is much trickier to get to. We had a hard time finding a clear defined path, so we kind of just paved our own way and definitely had to kind of hop through some rocks and some bushes. If you are planning to kind of bring a lot of beach stuff or you have smaller kids, maybe skip out out on Chimney Beach, but if you're kind of up for more of an adventure or in a more moderate hike, definitely check it out. And it's really neat because they actually have a chimney on Chimney Beach. And this brick chimney is all that's left of an old cabin built in the sands on the east shore of Lake Tahoe. So it's really neat to see and definitely just such beautiful blue clear water. After exploring the beaches, we stopped at this cute little place called Black Cabin Coffee and we enjoyed some refreshing coffee and smoothies and then the rest of the day we just kind of relaxed at the cabin and then I took a little drive with my aunt and my cousin to get some ice cream. for another day full of adventure and today first thing on the agenda is we are heading up to a place nearby called heavenly mountain where they have a gondola a roller coaster lots of other fun activities so we're gonna check that out then later this afternoon i have a spa appointment i'm gonna get a massage i'm really looking forward to that but excited to share what we get up to today ride. It's a 2.4 mile ride up and it was so breathtakingly beautiful. As you may notice, there was a bit of haze and smoke in the air due to all the wildfires which are unfortunately very prevalent in the California and just west region of the country, which is just such a sad reality and reminder. But regardless, the gondola ride was so, so beautiful. And there's also ski lifts and lots of different activities once you get to the top, including a roller coaster that we got to enjoy, which was such a fun thrill. I would definitely recommend adding this to your list. It's a unique roller coaster, and I live in Central Florida, which is just full of different roller coasters, but this was unlike anything I ever experienced. So really thankful we got to do that and just see all the breathtaking views from the top. Nice and cozy on the coaster. Oh boy. We hear old words with new ears. 
the top of Heavenly Mountain. We just did the roller coaster. It was so, so fun. And my grandma's being so brave. She didn't want to do the gondola because she's a little scared of heights. But here she is having the best time, right, Jima? Right? <laughs> and relaxing I had a full body massage and I definitely fell asleep during part of it because I was just so relaxed and really is such a good feeling and I feel so moisturized which is good for the dry California air because I'm used to kind of the humid climate so it's great to feel moisturized and relaxed and for the rest of the night we're just gonna make some dinner at the cabin my cousin JC she is making some bolognese so super fancy and We'll probably make a salad and then maybe watch a movie or play some games. So just gonna be a relaxed night and then tomorrow we have our last full day here. Good morning, it's our last full day here and we are off to a sailboat ride. We had a slow morning, just had breakfast at the cabin and now we're gonna get some sunshine, put on a lot of sunscreen because we'll just be out in the open water, but excited for this little adventure. last big activity of the trip was going on a sailboat ride which really was such a treat it is just so relaxing to be on a boat especially a sailboat and just look at all the different shades of blue as you sail throughout the water so i would definitely recommend that we sailed with sail tahoe blue which they were just so great the crew was super sweet and accommodating and we learned quite a few fun facts one of my favorite facts is that Lake Tahoe could cover the entire state of California in water, which is just so wild to think about. And Lake Tahoe's water is almost as pure as drinking water. So Lake Tahoe is 99.994% pure according to the Tahoe Fund. And it is considered one of the purest large lakes in the world. And as you can see, it is just so, so beautiful. I would also love to see it in the winter as well. Boat ride, we stopped for some empanadas at this Argentinian restaurant right in the marina, which is such a great hidden gem. These empanadas were truly so delicious. They had some meat options as well as vegetarian options. We had so much fun on the sailboat, it was absolutely gorgeous. And now we're off to our last hike of the trip at the Angora lake angora lake trail i believe it's what it's called it may rain over there which is kind of a rare occasion in california but it could be nice and refreshing and it's gonna be lovely either way right right
took our last hike of the trip to Angora Lakes, which was so beautiful. It was a bit overcast when we went, but it was still so stunning. And the hike was fairly simple, I would say. I saw some children doing the hike as well, and it's fun for the families to kind of spend the day here. We went at the tail end of the day, so it was quite peaceful and quiet. It was also really neat because they have these cabins you can stay at at both of the lakes. So we definitely want to check that out because that would be such a great experience. This is so cool. Oh, it's kind of cold if you ask me. I jumped in the water and now I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm hiking to the cliff. It's quite tricky. There's barely even a path. We're having fun though. It's an adventure, right? And Brandon actually walked all the way up to these really tall boulders on the side of the lake and I followed him for about halfway up and it was quite the experience because there really isn't a well-defined path, but we love a little adventure around here. Okay friends, I am fresh out of the shower from our little lake adventure. After the lake, which by the way was amazing, we tried to get some Thai takeout, but we were not having any luck. The first place was closed and the second place was super busy. So we ended up going to Chipotle and just eating that at the cabin. And for the rest of the night, we are just going to play games with our family and soak up the last bit of time together. Also pack our suitcases for our flight in the morning. But that's gonna be it for this travel vlog. I really hope you all enjoyed it and saw some good adventures and sights and just thank you guys so much for spending time with me and I cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye! <laughs> Look who came in at the perfect time. Bye! Bye.